right, so here I'm going to show you how to create a TS diagram. For the specific example, we'll be using R134A as a working fluid. Now to start off, I've already created these tables, but what you would have to do is manually type this temperature for the saturated table of R134A. Beginning with negative 100 down to 214, and since we're doing a TS diagram, you'd use saturated liquid for the saturated liquid line, all the way down for the entropy, corresponding to its temperatures. Then you would do the same for the saturated vapor. All of the temperatures start corresponding to the saturated vapor. For the specific example, I went 214 up to negative 100, but the order does not matter as long as you have the number corresponding to the temperature. So now to create a TS diagram, you want to insert a scatter plot. So right click, select data, add saturated liquid. For the X values, we want the entropy. For the Y values, we want the corresponding temperature. Saturated paper. For the X values, we want the entropy. For the Y values, we want the temperature. There you go. That is how to create a TS diagram. Now if we want to tidy this up a little bit, we can drop the label down to the bottom. And here we can also enter a trend line. I think moving average seems to be the best one to work with. And that's it. Now if we want to get rid of the points, we just go to marker, marker options, and none. Same for this one. If I can actually select the point. And there you go, you have your temperature versus entropy diagram.